Mm, black baldy time, black baldy time. What a fancy group of baldy heifers, guys. Uh, Balthy's heifers from Thetford, uh, Thetford, Nebraska, from Hoffman, Herefords. If you ever had a chance to uh, go up there, there's some very interesting ranchers up there, and it's a beautiful part of the country. Look at great cattle and great cattlemen. Uh, I've had the pleasure of helping out Jason Sale. And then while I was there, I bought several different groups of, of heifers, Herefords and Anguses. This is how to keep these girls around. I see a huge market for these baldies guys. I see this kind of breed you can cross over to any type of cross. Uh, I'm, I'm going with Brangus bulls right now. Uh, again, I think Brangus back on these half herf, half Angus. That's a crossbred cow in here, lead cow. Is, is a great mating. Uh, plans are eventually go back Brahmin with for calf number two. Synchronized breeding back Brahmin. Again, a half Brahmin, quarter Angus, quarter herf. Whew. Man, oh man, oh man, I'll give those tiger side boys run for the money. Because you got the Hereford in there, then you got the cow, you got the utter quality of an Angus. Mm. You're a fine mating. I did synchronize what I did, I synchronized them about a month now ago, 28 days ago, I guess. Yeah. I put Gene Trust Brangus bulls in them, five bulls, let them bulls work for 21 days, took them off. Uh, then last week I put two other Brangus bulls in there, same soon breeding. Cavanese bulls, but definitely have to look to them. Good nature heifers, aren't they? The most of these are, are straight baldies. You see, I, very few brockle faces. Most of them are baldies, so I kind of, you know, I made sure the group was a good, and a few brockles were the same quality. Love a baldy, guys. Mm. Good cattle. You know, my plans are to breed them, turn them out, raise a calf, breed them Brahmin. But again, you know, I thought, well, I'll put it out there and see what happens. Again, a lot of people looking for cattle. Again, these are for sale, but not on sale. There's a big divide. Of, and if you're familiar with what these cattle are bringing, uh, Tom Johnson, the great Tom Johnson, had a special this weekend, and Brayford's pairs brought six to 8,000. You know, uh, John, uh, John Griswold's bull sale this weekend. Bulls average 7,500 on 200 plus bulls. The market's strong, guys. Get on the bandwagon, the calf market. Stupid, I sold some calves off the heifers the other day. Those not heads, not even fancy, they about over a thousand. These girls are great investment, make money for many, many years to come. Boys, you're going back north, you can go back to Charlay or Angus or Simi or this is kind of sky's the limit, you know, here in the south. Uh, I like the way I have them bred now. Brangus, come back with the Brahmin bull. Uh, you go back with the Beef Master on these. Uh, Gert, the sky's limit on quality. Here's three minutes video footage. I have more on YouTube. Stout group of heifers. Again, they weighed 870 getting off the truck. That was a month and a half ago. Been on ryegrass and wheat. So they actually probably weigh closer to nine by now. Good cattle. I bought from good operation. And I bred them to really good brangus bulls and really good natured cattle as well. You know, I'm Clayton Hobbit. Some of these fine ladies in El Campo, Texas. Have a blessed day. Adios.